Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Lightning Strike Fire Starter. So basically this is a ferro rod system. It's not just your fire seal. It's kind of a system that controls where the sparks are gonna land. It's got tinder built in. So let me just show it to you real quick. You got this end cap with this elastic. So loosen this up, it comes off. And now you've got your fire steel inside here. This is your striker. And then down on the end, you can see we've got some special tinder that's included in there. And you're supposed to be able to get about 10 fires, probably more, you know, depending on how well you use the, um, the tinder. Um, but you can get up to 10 fires or maybe even more started with what you have there. So the idea here is that inside is your fire steel. And you can see, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the edge of it. Just your standard larger fire steel. But the concept here is that when you strike a fire steel, usually the sparks kind of go all over the place. No matter how much you direct them, they're gonna go in a direction, but kind of spread out. This, as you strike down this tube like so, directs all the sparks in one specific direction. So it's not shooting all over the place, it's getting a direct shot direct exactly where you want it to hit, which is onto your tinder. And to get a fire started, that's the way you're gonna do it. So that being said, you can get this in a couple different colors. You can also get this in a smaller size. I would say it's around about half the size of this one. So if this one's too big for you, it's about five or six inches, and you want something about half that size, you can pick that up as well. And I'll put links down below in the description section if you want more information on that. But let's uh, get some of this tinder set up up and then actually show you what it looks like to strike the lightning strike fire starter. I do want to mention to you that it does come in this uh, ballistic nylon sheath. It's got a little loop there so you can run a belt through it and then obviously you open it up and it's stored inside. So we're going to take the end cap off here and you can see when you pull out some of the tinder it comes out in this little disc shape. Now you can use the whole thing which is what we're going to do but you could also certainly tear off just a tiny piece depending on what you have to get your fire going after you know your spark has hit this but this will burn for quite a while. So let me place down my striker right here for a second, place down my ferro rod, and I'm just gonna fluff this up a little bit. And you can tell that it's got some sort of accelerant in it, so it's kind of, feels a little oily, you know, something like Vaseline uh, in, this, in this little disc that I'm now fluffing up. And we'll do one actually fluffed up, and then we'll actually do it without fluffing it up at all and see how well it takes the, uh, how well it takes the spark. So let me really get this all spread out here. Okay, so there's that. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sliding the striker down the ferro rod there to get everything directed uh, where I want it to go as opposed to it spreading out all over the place. So here we go. One shot and it's burning. So I'm gonna start my timer now to see how long this goes before it actually uh, burns out. And uh, just to give you, us all a sense of how long these uh, tinder discs will go. As you can see, it's all burned out. That ran for about 43 seconds or burned for about 43 seconds. Now we're gonna try one of the discs without, without fluffing it to see if it actually burns longer or shorter. You can see it's still going and we're up to a minute and 19 seconds. It's been two minutes and 58 seconds. You can see it's still kind of smoldering. There are some unburned portions on this. So if I, uh, you know, basically turn it around and gave it some oxygen was blowing into it, it would probably catch up again if I fluffed it a little bit. But three minutes right there basically with no uh, manipulation of the actual wafer. So that's a lot of time to get your fire started. What you see here is a small pile of birch bark, and uh, this is some of the shavings. It is quite damp, so I wanted to try it in uh, less than can ideal situations. So yeah, great if you have these, but if you run out of the, uh, the wafers that are all set to burn, what if you just have to get some natural tinder? So let's give this a shot and see how it works. Took a little bit more effort, but it's definitely burning now, as you can see. And I mean, this bark, this birch bark is like wet, 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 wet. But we do have it starting up at least a little bit. Let's see if we can get this, the rest of this bark to actually start up. Anyhow, yeah, what you can see here is that not just with the uh, tinder that's included, but also with natural tinder, you are going to get a flame. Obviously, if it's a soaking wet uh, day out, 
having this um, this tinder ready to go is a major advantage because when this stuff is damp, even though it's birch bark and it burns really well for me 99% of the time, you know, when it's really cold, uh, wet, it's probably not gonna function nearly as well as these, uh, these wafers. This product is made by Daryl Holland of Holland's Shooters Supply. And the price point for this is $60. Now, when you hear that for a ferro rod, you're probably gonna be like, 60 bucks, that's a lot of cash. So you are getting the system that's gonna focus the uh, sparks. You're also getting the ferro rod, which for a larger size ferro rod, you know, depending on how you pick it up, you're probably gonna pay 12, 15, maybe 18 bucks. You're getting the tinder as well. So you're getting an entire system. And his approach is to say, um, you know, when you really need it, you want to have that tinder and you want to have a system that's definitely going to work. So you're definitely going to get a fire started. Now, again, 60 bucks is a lot of cash. I will own that. Um, if this wasn't sent to me, would I just go out and pick one up? It's questionable, but I did get it for free to review. So that's why I'm telling you about it. So you can decide. Uh, I'm not here to promote it and say this is the ultimate product for every, you know, for every person out in the world. You have to decide if it fits into your system. Obviously, as you saw, it works quite well. Um, I'm going to actually be doing a survival class at the end of this month of October 2016 and I'm going to bring this out to show people. I'm also going to use some very basic ferro rods that you can get for five bucks so people can see the full spectrum. But if you're like, you know what, I am really into ferro rods and I want like the ultimate system, this could be one worth checking out at least. I'll always, I'll put links, as always, I'll put links down below so you can pick this up over at their site. And I want to remind you always, if you shop over at Amazon, it helps support the Everyday Tactical Vids channel. So a lot of cash to spend on a fire starting system, um, but you got to decide if this is right for you. Maybe you're building, you know, the ultimate survival kit with the best knife and the best fire steel and all that stuff. Um, this may be something that fits into that kit or that system. I want to mention two other products that they sell. This is the Lightning Strike Tinder, so the little discs that you saw before, and then this is Napalm Tinder, which is similar, just larger discs, and you can buy this by itself. You can buy this by itself to refill it. I also want to mention that if you buy one of them and then you kind of burn through the ferro rod, you can replace the ferro rod in the system for $12, so not super expensive to actually do that, but some more fire starting options that you might want to consider um, yeah so the lightning strike fire starter fire steel system check it out and uh, let's hear in the comments down below I mean again 60 bucks a lot of cash what do you think crazy would you say ah well here's why it might actually be good let's get the discussion started it's for you to decide I'm just here to present the information um, but I want to hear your comments and your feedback below and I can pass that on to these guys as well thanks as always for checking out the videos more videos coming soon take care